In this video, we'll share some of our best practices for using features available in Storyline for organizing your course menu. Begin by reviewing the menu to see if there are any wrong or missing slide titles. Here I found a typo and an untitled slide. Rather than making changes in the menu window here, it's better to update the titles in Story View so that when you click Refresh, the updated titles will auto-populate in the menu. Next, refresh the menu by selecting the Reset from Story option. This reorganizes slides that may have been moved around in the course of development. For example, you can see here that the slides in the conclusion scene are not in numerical order, and the Reset button will fix that. Now remove any scenes or slides you don't want to show in the menu. We generally remove all quiz questions as well as light box scenes. We'll typically remove the first scene title as well, but we'll keep the slides in that scene. If there's a draw from a question bank in your course with, say, four random questions, it'll display as a single slide in your menu. To show each slide from the draw as its own item in a menu, select the gear next to the draw entries and select the box to Show Slide Draw Contents. You can reinsert any slides that you accidentally remove by clicking on this folder. If you want to add additional sections, click New Heading and enter the title of the section. Another great way to organize your menu is to use these arrows to demote or promote slides. The demoted slides will be nested under the header slides, and this will allow you to group slides by topic and subtopic. By default, the entire menu displays all slides at once. We prefer to give our learner a cleaner, more concise view by clicking the arrow next to each scene title to collapse the scenes. Additionally, in the gear icon options, you can configure the course to automatically collapse scenes as the learner progresses. This is also where you can set the overall navigation restrictions for your course. Typically, we land on restricted, which means that a learner can view and rewatch the current slide and any previously viewed slide, but they cannot jump ahead at any time. Additionally, you can decide whether you want to restrict the previous or next button as well if you opt to restrict the course. And those are our tips for building out a really nice, clean menu in Storyline 360. We hope you found it helpful.